Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, it's been a while. It's, it's, yeah, it's been a long time. Um, so, I know the channel has been fairly silent for quite some time, and don't worry, there is a project in the works, there is a review in the works to be more specific, uh, and I'm working on the editing for that, so that should be out recently, uh, soon, sorry. But today, um, so E3 is going on, or Summer Games Fest, I guess it's called. Um, and a lot of indie games have been showcased, and a lot of them have demos out, including Stable. Uh, this is a game I, I can't remember when I found out about this, but it was a while ago, and I saw, like, I saw the art style, and uh, honestly, j the art style alone was enough to sort of pique my interest quite a bit. Uh, I don't really know how I could describe this, uh, but it's like... I don't know, we'll jump in and we'll see. But so, this is like a sort of... It's basically a game demo showcase, like all, all my other demo showcases. Um, I'll be just playing through the demo, seeing what we can do, uh, observing, I guess, and and giving you my opinion at the end of the, uh, the video. So, of course, this is only a demo. I'm not sure how far into the game this is. I mean, this game, the, game is, the game is set to release in September 23rd of this year, so it's actually pretty soon. So, I don't know how far in... Uh, how far in development this is. I don't know how close to the finished product this game is, but either way, we'll find out. So this is a game being developed by Shedworks and published by Raw Fury. Fury sorry. I have not heard of either one of those uh, companies. So, yeah. And this is actually... The, the tags are a bit interesting for this on Steam. It says it's a puzzle, 3D platformer, exploration game, but it's also a racing game. <laughs> And it says, uh, for a synopsis, it says, Embark on a unique and unforgettable journey and guide Sable through her gliding. A rite of passage that will take her across vast deserts and mesmerizing landscapes, capped by the remains of spaceships and ancient wonders. So, I'm just going to stop talking. Let's, um, let's just jump in. Sable. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to use a, a controller here for this. Uh, sound, let's maybe turn this down. The, the, I, I, from, what, from what I've heard, the music is sounds uh, really, really great. Um, okay, I'll do that. Uh, and the soundtrack is actually by Japanese Breakfast, which I've only found... Uh, I've only found her music recently, but it's actually pretty cool. Uh, okay, cool. A new game. Alright, let's go. Let's go, let's go. So we're going to play through like the entirety of the demo. Uh, well, I'm hoping I will anyway. And we're just going to explore, and we're just going to see what we can do, and what this game's like. I've I've read, I've seen some articles of um, of people who've played the demo. Oh wow, oh wow, look at that. I mean that that is stunning. That is, that's just stunning. That looks like um, I don't know how to describe this. It kind of looks like a sort of a comic book, I guess. I feel I feel like I feel like this reminds me of something, like the 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 uh, the visual style of this, but I can't I can't put my finger on it. Wow, this looks amazing. Wow. Okay. Sorry, I know I'm saying wow a lot, but I don't have any other appropriate reaction for all this. It, it's honestly, it's really, it's gorgeous. I, yeah. It, it looks so much better, like, when you're in-game. On the trailers, it already, already looked, like, pretty fantastic, but... Oh, here we go. Um, okay, so I'm playing with a controller, so those keys don't really apply here. Oh, you can jump? I love the animation. Um, the ceremony. I should head back to camp. Clothing. Ooh, okay. So, it looks like there's actually quite a bit of a uh, customization here, actually. A child's mask. A blank looking mask worn by all children of the dunes. Most kids customize this for fun, but more traditional clans frown on that sort of self expression. Okay. Ibexi children top, my old Ibexi top and head, a hand me down from Yara. The scratchiness reminds me of home. Ibexi trousers, comfy sandals for exploring sunny places in, not the best for climbing. Badges. Okay, hold on, I, I want to have a look at this. 
Wow, okay, so we can just... So it looks like uh, this story is being told in the first person as well. Wow, look at this. Okay. Okay. Uh, settings. Uh, I hope. I'm just going to turn this down for a bit. Uh, let's see. Controls. Yeah, let me put this up a bit. Wow, I mean, this looks... Uh... Oh. Press A to jump. Okay, yeah, I got I got that. Okay. Whee! Move towards the water when climbing. Keep an eye on your stamina. Okay, I see the stamina. Okay, so that's kind of like in um, Breath of the Wild, I guess. Which I still ha I still haven't played, but yeah, don't, don't judge me. Oh, wow. Well, oh, okay. Oh, okay, so I can just... Wow, okay, I can just jump on the... Um, I like this art style. It's funny because this art style is like, it's, um, it's really like, it's gorgeous to look at, but it kind of like, I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like, uh, it's very, um, heavy on the eyes. Holy shit. Look at this, man. It's very heavy on the eyes. It's like, um, it's like those games that have a lot of film, gr film grain to them. That makes sense. I don't know if that makes any sense. Hold down to sprint while moving around. <laughs> Excuse me. Allergies. Okay, Ibex camp. So this is where she comes from, right? Because she's an Ibexy, I think? I'm not even sure if Sable is a she. I'm gonna... I, maybe I shouldn't assume, but... I think this not just said her, so. Okay, this is this is what was showcased at the uh, at Summer Games Fest. I can feel JD smiling behind her mask, just as I know she can feel the teeth bearing little grimace behind mine. I'm nervous, and she's softly, sweetly amused. In her eyes, I probably have very little to worry about. You know you have nothing to worry about, don't you, Sable? Uh I'm not worried. I tell him I'm not worried at all, but it's possibly the least convincing I've ever been. You can say that, my love. But I do know how you are. You're going to be nervous until you've started, and then you'll act like you've been doing it your whole life. Remember the first time, remember the first time you rode a bike? You wouldn't even let me put you on the seat. You were so afraid. Your hands were little, like your hands were like little claws gripping onto me. I feel the memory in my fingers. But then I promised you it was going to be all right. I told you how much I had loved riding my bike as a young woman, and how wonderful the wind felt through fabric. Suddenly, there you were. You sat down. You le you leaned forward and put those little grasping claws on the handles, and you were off. And I remember thinking, just watching you tear over the sand. Look at her. She can do whatever she wants. Shady reaches out and places his hand on the edge of my mask. And you can, Sable. I take a breath. I don't know where to start. JD's story warns me, but I feel too overwhelmed to let it settle. I tell her with a sigh that I don't know where to begin. She chuckles. Well, I can help with that. You'll need to talk to Hilal and Driss. Driss should already have made the arrangements for your bike, and Hilal will share something. Well, let's say as useful as it is fun, hmm? I think I might suspect what JD's saying, but I stay quiet. After that, I suppose we'll see you off. What if I choose the wrong path? I asked Jenny what will become of me if I choose the wrong path. There are no wrong paths, Sable. All right ones. I'll be glad if you choose to stay with the Ibexi, but truth be told, I'll be glad no matter what, so long as you're happy. Whatever you decide, you do so with my blessing. So don't try using me as an excuse to come home early, eh? She knows me. Now go speak with Hilal. I'll be there to see you off. And speak to Driss as well. I've told him to arrange your bike with Cizo, but you know how he is. I have something to give you, a compass to help you on your journey. It's the same one I used on my gliding, an artifact you might say. I take the bite of my palm. It fits naturally there, perfectly weighted and crafted. Each component slides together with incredible satisfying precision. Thank you. Go on, go on, it's any time. Oh wow, look at that. I need to complete tasks for Hilal and Driss. 
Okay. Wow, this looks, uh... So I don't really know, um... So what... I don't really know what the focus of this game is. I don't know if there's any combat. I don't know... It, it seems like it's more, um... Exploration focused than anything else. And maybe narrative focused as well. Logging in. Hello, Sable. I don't want messages. Have a good day. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, little robot. Okay, so I think Hilal is this guy. Hello. As I approach Hilal, they give an enthusiastic wave. I've always appreciated Hilal's verve and vigor. And on a day like this, I'm ready to match it with a touch of nerves for balance. Sable, take this. Gliding stone. Hilal hands me a small round stone. As it nestles into my palm, I feel a warmth not borrowed from Hilal's hands, but emanating from within. I run my thumb over it and find it softly electric, like static on cloth. What is this? I try to sound as confused as I am, but ask Hilal what this is. Ah, oh, Sable, you can't leave without it. What I've just given you is a gliding stone. What do you feel? Um, yeah, electricity, I guess. Then you're doing it right. What you feel in that stone is openness. I look at the stone. It seems quite closed. Gliding stones are vessels for the perpetual. They suck up its power like little sponges and hold it there for you to channel. Right now it's empty or dormant and waiting for you to fill up. I ask how I can do this. The ticket is the temple ruins at the end of the canyon. You'll be able to activate it there. Hilal claps her hands twice and bobs a little. I appreciate that good mood at a time like this. Come back to me once that's done. I want to hear all about it. As I'm about to leave, Hilal stops me. Oh, you haven't got your bike yet, have you? It's a bit of a trek to the temple, so go see Driss. He was meant to get that ready for you, yes? I remember JD's words now and tell Hilal I'll go and see Driss. I'll go and see Driss, sorry. Activate the gliding stuff. Okay. Right, so now we need to go see Driss. Wow, look at this. I like the, uh... Yeah, I like I like the art man. This is pretty cool. Uh, so we need to go down here. And for anyone who watched the, uh, the, the, uh, Summer Games Fest presentation for Sable, uh, you, you would have seen a Japanese Prex versus performance, which was really great. Oh. Oh. Hello, little goats. Who's this fella? Umar is a man of few words, and he's nothing if not consistent. Oh, okay, he doesn't, he doesn't talk, All right. So yeah, I wonder how, uh... Huh. I wonder how close to, to the, like, the final product this, this version, this demo is. Or, this might just be like, this might just be like a, a demo that was from an earlier stage of the game. And it doesn't actually reflect how far in development they are right now. I mean, I would suspect they're pretty far in, considering it's releasing in September. Also, sorry for my voice. I'm a bit, I'm a bit, a bit like allergies and stuff. Though I've told myself not to be too eager, it's all I can do not to race up to Driss. Driss is the camp manager. He's been difficult to get a hold of lately, but now I strongly suspect that he's been working on my bike in secret. Perhaps it's extra beautiful or has some custom feature. What will it same be, I wonder? How fast will it go? Will my legs feel sore or will I get used to it? Just turns with a bit of a start. Sable, uh, hello! Uh, JD? I don't know if it's JD or Jaddy? Actually, I might go with... Uh, I'll stick with JD. JD sent me to speak with you? Did she? What about? I tell him it was about something special and then make leading gestures, surely. Slowly, trying to be perf perfectly cool and confidential. But I can't do it. I'm too keen in the words for that. I asked Driss if he might sort of possibly maybe have a bike for me. Your bike? He yells it like some idea he's just had. Your bike? Yes, of course, right. Yes, your bike. That I was meant to. That I prepared for you. Because today is your... Did you forget? In abject horror, I gently asked if he may have forgotten. Well, I would never. It's... Obviously, I have your bike. I which I mean I arranged it for you in a well, it's sort of a tutorial for you. Ah, okay. 
uh, a tutorial? Yes, exactly, a learning experience. You see, Sable, before one can own their own bike, they must prove that they can ride a bike by taking a test ride on a different bike. Okay, he's totally forgotten our bike. I think about it and find I've never heard of that part of the gliding, but just does seem earnest. Sort of. So instead of worrying about your bike, I'd like you to try this bike as a test. Just gestures to the sun cutter at this side. It's quite old and a little shabby. A tester if ever I've seen one. What's the bike's name? Just seems scandalized. That's a bit personal, don't you think? Just sun cutter will do for now. Okay, so it looks like they have... So the, the bike is quite a big part of their lives. And obviously they give them names. And maybe it's some sort of companion. It looks like it's sort of really embedded in the culture here. Youngsters these days are always asking questions. Now, ride the bike through the ring and back. And here's some advice to you, my, my young glider. Don't fall off. When you're not riding it, your hover bike will appear as a blue icon on your compass. Oh yeah, okay. Definitely not a test. Oh wow. Oh god. <laughs> Oh, look at that. We could strafe. Okay, sick. Nice. So can we do like... Okay, okay. I'm, tr I'm just trying to get used to this. Okay. It's very quiet as well. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Camera's a bit. I return to Driss, who somehow manages to seem caught off. Sorry, to seem caught off guard despite knowing I was coming. Hey, well, congratulations. How was your first pre glide ride? Any strange rattles, unexplained hissing, small fires? What do you mean, fires? Uh, surely you notice it if you were on fire, even a little bit. Was that a possibility? Well, obviously it didn't happen, so I think we're fine. Drake, is this bike dangerous? Well, he doesn't finish. Have you already been by Hilal? Am I not getting a bike? Well, you're getting the use of the sand cutter. That's something, eh? You can borrow it to run your little errands. My little errands. And Hilal's got something to show you too. Help you out with more of that uh, mobility you're after. With my confidence in this exercise only lightly tarnished, I thank Tris very much for this help and his bike, and I depart for Hilal. Alright, so he's forgotten our bike. Silly. Uh, okay, so we need to head back to, to Hilal. Yeah, I'm really curious to see... Uh, to see how how this game is going to play out, uh, like what it's what it's going to be about. Oh, obviously this is only the start, so you, we can't really like not much to say. Uh, but uh, yeah, no, I, I'm I'm really. I mean, the art style so far looks great. Also, I just noticed there is actually music. I just hadn't heard it. Hello, Hilal. Head over to the temple, Sable. I promise it'll be worth the trip. Uh. Oh, right, okay, so... I think it's that red glowing thing. Okay, 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 so... So, we need to do... We've got this thing, um... We've got this task from Hilal. Um, so I guess we can just... We can just use the Senkata, right? Like, can we just... Okay, we can. So, let's see, map. Uh, okay. Avex camp. Okay. Okay, activate the... So we need to do this. Okay. And I'm guessing we can probably customize our bike as well, since there's like a menu... Um, there's a menu here for bike parts. 
Yeah, there's a, okay, cool. Well, well, we'll see, we'll see. I don't really get the feeling this game is about like, um, like that there's gonna be any combat in this game. It seems really exploration focused and just taking in the world around you. I, I love the music so far, it's very um, ambient. So I believe this may be the altar here up ahead. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Can I go through this tunnel? I can. Ooh, okay, so we can climb that, I think. Yeah, this bike is not very fast, is it? It's probably a good thing, actually. Because then it means we, we go a bit slower, we can just take everything in. So I... Okay, I'm ready to bet this is the altar. Dude, I love these smoke animations. That's pretty cool. Okay. Ooh, God. Yeah, some things, some things are a bit janky, I think. Maybe the, the camera... Uh, sort of uh, going a bit wonky there. Uh, and maybe like that animation for, for getting off the bike. Oh god, can I make it? Okay, I can. Um, so, this sort of... And th th there's some popping as well. This sort of leads me to think this might be like... A an alpha or something. If I recall correctly... <gasps> oh god! Oh, I'm so sorry. I think if I recall when there was this presentation at E3 or some good Okay, we can't climb here. Oh, we can. Okay, cool. Uh yeah, I think at the presentation for some games fest, it said it was alpha footage, but I could I could very well be wrong. Oh god, okay. Whew. Oh, I love the shadows as well. That's really nice. And this music, man. Wow, this is extremely soothing. Okay, let's go. I'm pretty sure this is the altar. These kind of look like um, like totems here, almost maybe like like uh, like tiki's. Uh, I'm just saying that because I'm seeing like the the engravings and markings here. Oh, there's a bird. Hello. Wow, man, this is uh this is pretty cool. Ah, oh, check this out, dude. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Oh, so that's like. Uh, oh. Wait, hold on. This can't be right. Do I go up here, maybe? Ah. Hello. Oh, okay. So, is that like the currency? I'm guessing that's the currency. Okay, I don't, <laughs> I don't know how we can make it up here. Uh... Uh, oh, there's a balloon up there. I just noticed that. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, maybe I can sprint and jump. Oh, thank God I don't take fall damage. Oh, no. Oh, God, shit. Okay, okay, we'll have to find another way up. Okay, it's gotta be, it's gotta be here somewhere. Oh, wait. Oh, maybe I took a wrong turn, actually. Okay, let's try going up here again. Uh, let me just check how how long are we into recording. Okay. Well, we're going to try and do all of this. I, I really want to explore this game as much as I can. Okay, okay. Right, let's see. Maybe if I go up here...
Maybe not. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's follow this path for now. Alright. Okay, okay. So, the technology is over here. Oh god, I almost, I almost fell off again. Jesus Christ. Alright, okay, okay. I don't know how we're gonna go there, man. Um, wow. I don't know if I'm supposed to... Because I can't use my glider, right? Yeah, I can't use my glider. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on, okay. I I think I may have made... Okay, I think I'm at the wrong place, actually. I think I'm at the wrong place. Because I, don't, I just realized, like, there's no way we can... We can, um... There's no way we can we can cross that gap. And I know I know there's like um there's a gliding ability at some at some point because that was showcased during the the live stream. Okay, okay, let's let's try and explore something else. We'll have to come back to this later when we, we when we can access that. Okay. So there's something blue over there. I don't know if that's the Ibexi camp. Oh wait, there's a balloon there. Whoa. Okay, there's loads of balloons. So that's the Ibexi camp with the... I can't remember where... I can't remember where Hilal said we should go. Maybe that's the altar over there, actually? This is the ring. Okay, this is the ring, right. I wonder, maybe maybe we can do like a... Maybe there are different rings and they serve as markers? I don't really know. Looks like there's a day-night cycle too, which is nice. Oh, I don't know if I can make this. I can. Cool. Okay, hi. What the hell? New item, Chumeg? What on earth? Perfectly brown and hard as a rock. These eggs seem to float with how light they are. That must be a good place to put these. Okay. Well. Oh, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. I was okay, I wasn't expecting that. Alright, okay. Hmm. Yeah, I can't remember where he said the altar was now. Damn it. Maybe it's over there. Let's see, can we see anything on the map? What's this? Oh, this is this is where we are, okay. Hmm, okay. Okay, let me... Okay, let's hop back onto the the, uh, the bike. I guess the whole point is to explore, right? So... So I, I think it's probably good that there, there are no, like, quest markers or anything, because I guess that would just defeat the purpose of the game. We need to find something that looks like an altar. Ooh, what is this? Okay, this looks, this looks cool, I'm not gonna lie. This looks like some... old crashed, uh... Whoa. Whoa. Dude, this is like a full balloon ship. Maybe they crashed here? There's nothing that needs to be found in the ship, but I noticed a blinking light flashing on the dashboard of the cockpit. Uh, yeah. A voice crackles from the machinery in front of me. It sounds like a recording, and it's barely audible. Stop messing about with those buttons, you absolute idiot. The distinct sound of someone slapping someone else's hand crackles out of the slick speaker. Sorry, Ramen. Concentrate. I don't think I have to remind you how much work it was to get this far. We're almost there. All right. Let's see if what that old ma match machinist machinist I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, Tolos holds up. If not, they'll be held to pay. 
Some sort of mechanical adjustment seems being made. I hear the sound of three clicks. Buttons being pressed, perhaps. Okay, when I push this orange thing, pull that lever. Hard. Yes, Ramen. The sound of a click and a loud grunt before a snapping sound. Oh, on Rahona's mask. Not that hard, you've torn it out. Suddenly, the speakers are filled with static, crackling, and a low rumble that seems to gradually increase in pitch and frequency. And then, the sounds of someone cheering. It worked, we're flying! What sounds like an ungainly person dancing around on a metal surface plays out. Okay, okay, let's focus. This thing is moving fast. We need to slow down for a bit. How do we do that, Ramen? Let me check what the mechanism wrote down for us. A long pause, the waning static sound that started playing when the ship took off seems to be increasing in frequency. It sounds like the ship is picking up pace. Suddenly, what sounds like someone pulling and pushing on every button, they can as quickly as possibly plays out. Ramen? That... That lever you just ripped out? Toma, that was how we slowed this thing down. We're going too fast, we're going to crash. We need to try to... The recording cuts of that. Okay, so they, they did crash. Huh. So, I wouldn't... Wow, okay. I wonder if they made it out alive or... Oh! Are you looking for a calibrator? I tell Simon I have no idea what she's talking about. Simon laughs off my impression. I compose myself. I'm not giving... I'm not gonna give her the satisfaction. I'll give you the calibrator. I'll give it to you. But I want some beetles. That's a fair trade, isn't it? Something you want for something I want. Beetles. I stifle a sigh. Perhaps someone of the adults in the camp know where I can find some. Okay. And I don't think there are quest markers, right? No, there aren't. Okay. I, I like that. I, I feel like it, it, it fits. It fits this kind of game. Because it's kind of like in Hollow Knight where sort of they just let you roam around and... And if you were helping out some, some villager or something, it would just, like, you would just eventually stumble upon it. Okay, so, this is the Ibex camp. Dude, there's like a massive stru- It looks like there's a lot of, um, stuff that- a lot of stuff that happened here. A lot of crashed ships. Or maybe not- maybe not loads of them, but there's like debris and- Oh, we can't go up there. Okay, okay. Um, maybe we need a calibrator, actually. I don't know what I don't know what it is, honestly. Yeah, I'm not sure what a calibrator is. Maybe it'll help us, though. I don't know. Oh, hello. Oh, uh, that's another thingy. Hello. Chumig. Okay. I have no idea what these things are, but, uh... Yeah, I don't know what these things are, man. Okay, let's go check that out. Okay, so these represent Chumigs. I'm not sure what they are. Uh, maybe it's something we can trade? I don't know if that's a thing in this game. We'll find out, we'll find out. Ooh, okay, there's an opening here, so we can go here. Okay, let's not try and bang up this this bike as uh more than it already is. Hello there. Okay, this is interesting. Ooh, ladder. It looks like there was, there was like, something before here, like, maybe some other civilization, or, I don't know. I'm guessing, I'm guessing, stable is, is human. Ooh, hello. Oh, oh, nothing in it? Oh, okay. Holy shit. Wow. Oh my god, that's huge. What is that? Honestly, I I'm ready to bet it's like a dam. Or it was a dam, I guess. I, I don't know. Nothing to push on here. Whee! Okay. Nice. 
Right, let's see, can I make it up here? Oh, I can. Oh, yeah, okay, I can. Woohoo! Alright, let's climb up here. Yeah, the camera's a bit. It's not easy to get the hang of the camera. Might be in a bit of trouble. Is it. Oh, oh god. Alright, there we go. Okay. These are similar lights to what we saw before. Okay, that looks like we can put something in it. Maybe a battery? Oh yeah, okay. So, the red light probably means that it's not powered. Or that, or that yeah, that it's out of power. So, we, should, we probably need to find something. Dude, this looks insane, but we can't go in it, which is a bit of a bummer. Wow, look at this. Okay, this is going to be too, uh, too, too complicated to travel to traverse on foot, though. Okay, let's uh, let's go over here. I'm liking this though, it's quite it's quite soothing. I think I used that word earlier. Just the, the music, the environment. You know, you can just explore at your own pace is is the, the feeling I am getting from this game. And that, that that's pretty cool. Okay, right, let's let's head off and try and explore something else. Oh god. Woo. What was that? I don't know what I just, uh, I had some big ass- Oh god, what's it doing? Okay. There's a balloon up there. Okay, let's see if we can go up here. I don't know if there's- There's something on the top of the hill over there. Oh god, I hit a rock. Fuck. Okay, this look. Okay, this looks. This looks um like something we might want to go explore. Ruins. Okay. Right. Let's go check this out. Yeah. Okay. The camera's a bit. It, it feels a bit weird to control. At some moments, it just go, goes kind of like all over the place. Oh, that's the wind I'm hearing. Okay, that's the wind. Right. Gotcha. Hello. I don't know what we're going to do with these things. Cool. Maybe they're just collectibles or something. Ooh, okay, hello. Wait, no, is this where we came from at the start? No, no, it can't be, no, no, no. Okay, I, I, I got scared for a moment. Oh wow, look at this. Looks like some butterfly man or something. I don't know if the Ibex built this or... Wow, okay, check this out, dude. Oh god! Okay, that's not good. That cannot be good. It's fine. It's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> okay, I was not expecting that. Okay, now things are like eerily quiet. Okay, this must be the altar. This must be the altar. Yes! Nice, we found it! The stone thrums like a beat of a heart as I approach the altar. Am I afraid? 
Yes and no. I am ready for Rohana to know me. I am ready to know myself. I feel her curiosity in this sacred place. I know I am in her sight. So she's, she must be a deity, Rohana. Ooh. Okay, wow. Damn, that's gorgeous. we go there seems to be like despite despite like the this civil that like uh, the abex they seem to be like a very um maybe sort of tribal people it seems like there's a lot of technology here so that's pretty cool from ancient ruins and stuff like that Okay. Show Hilal the activated gliding stone. Ooh. Nice. Okay. This is what I saw in the um Yeah, okay, this is what I saw in the in the in the showcase. Oh, this is sick, man. Look at that. And it doesn't take it doesn't take stamina as well. That's pretty neat. Okay. Wait, there's a chest up there. Wait, is it's open already? Did I open it? Mm, I don't know. I I get the feeling this is probably alpha. Um, I'm ready to bet this is alpha. Oh, okay. Okay, that button's to uh, okay. Right, let me go over here. That's pretty cool. That's pretty fucking cool. And now we can probably cross um, that gap. So can we do this indefinitely? Looks like we can. Nice. Okay, I like this. Yeah, I like this. Oh god, I just I just <laughs> I just crashed into a wall. Okay. Okay, I think I think it's safe to, to go back to the camp now. I think it's uh probably the best option now. Obviously now we've got a few more things to explore. Like we can cross that big gap we couldn't at the at the at the start. I kinda wanna go see that watchtower and that balloon. That looks sick. Maybe this guy knows where there are some beetles. Okay, yep. Yeah. Oh, check that out. Money. At least I think it's money. Wow, holy shit, look at that. That's like a full-blown temple, man. It looks like... I don't know what it looks like, but it's fucking impressive. Okay, and we're back at the camp. Hey, can, can we talk to her? I can ask about catching beetles for same with that wretched child. Uh, do you know where I can find some beetles? There's a nest of beetles just east of here. You can't just walk up to one and catch it, though. There's some seeds growing on the rock there on the nest. Drop a seed on the floor and the beetle will start eating it. Then you can sneak up and grab it. JD greets me warmly. 
It's so strange getting called that. I tell JD how strange it is being called Glad instead of Sable or even Clan Child. Just trying to get used to it. She seems to really like it, and maybe I like it too. My little glider. Okay, cool. Unrested me okay. I wanna climb up here now. Okay. Oh wait, there's people up there. Hello. I know she spends a lot of time in the cave and the camp. You should have a look down there. We have a nice chat together. Oh, okay. So I could just... Okay, but I mean, would it really hurt to give us some beetles? I don't think so. Can we talk about anything else? Okay, okay. I want to see if I can go over here. Hello. Hey, guys. Elaria, the balloon was more fun than the person in it. Okay. I approached the cartographer. Ah, greetings, child. I saw you looking longly at my great balloon. Quite a piece of work, isn't she? She really is. I nod enthusiastically. It really is an impressive vessel. However nervous I get, imagining being up there all alone. I wonder if anyone's ever fallen in love with one. That's not us right now. I'm Jordan. I tell him I'm Sable. Suppose if you come all this way to see me, it's probably a map you're after. Hey, Sable? I, I would love a map. That'll be 50 cuts. Fair price for a map. Too expensive for a pre-gliding glider with empty pockets. Purveyor and surveyor. Okay. So it doesn't look like there's full that. Oh, God. Doesn't look like there's full damage, like at all, which is cool, I guess. I don't. I'm. I'm not too bothered. Okay. So she said. So JD told us there's a there's a cave under the camp, and that's where. Uh, that's where she goes to, to play it. Ah. Well, I mean, I could just grab the... Okay, okay, let, let's get her beetles. Let's get her beetles. I feel, I feel bad just sort of cheating her. Just east of the camp. Okay. So east, oh, it's over here. Okay. Right. I want to try and, and, and go up here. Um, let's go. Let's go talk to Hilal real quick. Let's see how are we doing in recording time. Okay. I might stop like when we reach the one hour mark. But uh, I don't know yet. We'll see. I could ask about catching beetles. Um, oh, fuck, I, sp I skipped Ndala. Okay. Strange, I'm a little queasy. I tell her like that there's something about, a bit disorienting about it, and that I haven't quite understood how best to use it yet. What well, do worry about that. There's plenty of time, and before long, you're going to be floating off cliff sides with impunity. Is that good? Trust me, you're going to love it. He tells me it doesn't duck him, but the side that out holds a bit of sorrow. You're very lucky, you know. I miss it so much, that feeling. Just floating on the breeze. But I suppose it's best that it fades with age, hmm? Or else I might never have come back from my gliding. I'd just be out there heaving myself into chasms. I'll heave myself into chasms for you. That's what I like to hear. I know people manage to keep it up, but I don't know that I've got the time to practice so much as they do. It takes a really serious focus. Heal on last, even if there's a bit of regret in it. And I certainly haven't gotten that. Still, I suppose the gliding wouldn't mean much if it were all gains and no loss, hmm? 
I think about that, but decide that there is already too much lo loss in my mind to consider much further. I am saying goodbye to my clan, my family, my home, my childhood. To lose the perpetual is a sacrifice for another time. You're going to love it out there, Sable, even when you don't. My advice, try to have fun. There's a lot to be said about ritual and independence and all of that out there, but the world's an easier place if you put joy first. Thank you, Laugh, for the advice and for the help, and tell them I'll miss them. It'll be over before you know it. A warning and a reassurance, all in one. I say goodbye to Hila. Before I go, he gestures towards the tower. It seems Caesar wishes to see me before I leave the clan. Okay. Uh, let's see. So east, we've got a... Wait, did I put another marker by accident? I did, okay. So east of the camp. Let's go see if we can find some beetles. Who's this? As she looks out across the landscape, Zergi's shoulders sag a little. I wonder what she's thinking about. Something on your mind? Zuki's voice is weakly incredulous. I don't know how she's done it. That's Alaria over there. I follow her gaze to a little speck in the distance, which I now understand is her daughter, Alaria. Does she need help? Shakes her head. No, she's fine. Uh, I'll get her. I'm just... She shrugs. Parenting. I suppose I'll know more about that when I'm older. I could ask about catching beetles for Sama, that wretched child. Okay. The beetle nest might just be here. Let's see. Where could it be? Huh. I feel like we would see it. Oh, wait. Do you guys see that? I'm pretty sure there was someone gliding over there. Or, um, riding a bike. Oh no, that's just sand clouds, okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. Maybe it's over here? I can see a sort of tunnel here. Maybe that's it? Okay, well. Okay, okay. Let's see. Maybe we can find the beetles. I feel like it. I feel like maybe it would be here. Oh, nice. Ah, beetles! Oh, okay. We just got some seeds, don't we? Okay. <laughs> we're not we're not going to catch any like this. Okay, well we we found the we found the hideout. Ah, there we go. Does that attract uh, any anyone or not? Beetles. Aha. Gotcha. Yes, we got him. Nice. Oh, that was fun. Cute little beetles. They're pretty fucking big, though. I'll tell you that. Uh. Okay. 
Right, cool, we did that. Yeah, I I like that it's really just like it's it's just you and 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 the world to explore. There's no markers. Uh, I mean, I, I like my having markers. Don't get me wrong. I think it's, it, it depends on what what game you're making, I guess. But uh, yeah, I, I like this a lot here because it's really you can just sort of like, I mean for this quest, like I just we basically went off from like the info that the the beetle nest was like east of the camp and that was it, and then we just found it by just exploring and sort of being curious, and I, I think that's that's really cool, and hopefully. I mean, obviously, this is just a demo, but hopefully, it holds up for the um, for the rest of the game as well. Like that that feeling of curiosity. So I guess, yeah, I because I guess that's kind of like the drive here is like you know, to make you feel curious and make you want to go and venture out and, and explore this this interesting world. Uh, and I guess, uh, obviously the bike comes into that, so I think if the game like introduces like different mechanics to make exploring more fun and, you know, traverse the land a bit faster, I think that could be pretty cool. Brando, how much when I give her the Beatles? You'll leave, you'll leave and you ne never come back. She blows her nose and whoops her hand on, my, on her tunic. Yara never came back after the last gliding. Aren't you sad? You were her friend. I miss her too. No one has heard from Yara in years. There are rumors, of course, but she has never written to us. I wish I could say I didn't understand. I I didn't understand waiting to leave the Abexi behind. Oh, this was uh oh this. A dye bottle for the colors of the Abexi red bike. Ooh. Cool. Okay, well, clearly she, she misses us and she just wants to spend a bit of time with us. Oh, God. Have you got my bike, sir? Okay, so let's see. JD to get some cuts. Okay, so cuts is the currency then. Okay. Oh god. Whoops. Alright, okay. This is Hilal. Right, let, let's let's talk to JD a bit, and then we need, uh, Caesar wanted to talk to us. I think. I told JD that the cartographer wants fifty cuts from a map of the U.S. I try to hedge the way I speak about this, as I'm not entirely sure whether whether that's too much, not enough, or precisely its value. She tells me not to worry. Here's someone to get you going on your journey. Use it most wisely, and then a little unwisely when the mood strikes. It's good to know the value of money, but you never want to be ruled by it. I think JD effusely and head out of my way. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. But I, w I wonder if it, that reveals the entire map, or oh god, what's it doing? Oh god, okay, whoa, 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 calm down. No, 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 no. Okay, whoa. Right, it was stuck in a bit of a weird loop there. Okay, okay. Well, let's go check this out. Kanagama too? I'm sure you do. Greetings, child. I'll buy that map. Perfect, let's trade then. Oh yeah. We can't sell anything. I think Jordan for the UM map and all his fast possibilities. Something about this makes it feel more real. Good luck on your gliding table. I still remember mine. That's how it was. Sure, I, I knew since I was a boy that cartography was for me, but I spent a little extra time out there just to enjoy the world. Speaking of, keep an eye on this guys, eh? 
Plenty of my colleagues out there, and they'll have more maps to tell you. From Harkoa to the Sodic Waste. I thank Jordan for the tip and say goodbye. Farewell, child. Oh, wow, look at this. Okay, so it doesn't actually... Um, okay, so basically just... It's more of like a sort of topographical map, but it doesn't, it doesn't actually show you anything. So it's still... Okay, that, I, I was worried that, you know, you would buy the map and, and, and like, everything would be revealed. Uh, you know, like, kind of like Ubisoft Towers and shit. Which is not what we want. Uh, but I'm glad to see it's just like, it just sort of reveals the area in, in a bit more detail. Um, but doesn't like, doesn't, still doesn't really give you any sense of direction, which I think works well for this game. Again. Because the whole point, I guess, is to be curious and explore for yourself, right? She's always an elk up to the Abexi, but I've known her for nearly as long as I can recall, and think of her more as a kind of distant relation than any sort of outsider. Mechanists, I'm told, are given by their, are given their posts and by their training and their code, must go to where they are needed, but Caesar has been among us so long that it's easy to forget it's an assignment first and foremost. As far as any of us are concerned, she is one of us. I think there is a perception among the other clans that the Abexi are quite insular, or that our, desig or, or that our designation of Abexi but as outclans suggests some nervous othering of those who are unlike us. But in practice, such things are more the result of our nomadic nature. We seek to know who will travel with us, and who we must leave behind, but all are welcome to join. And I'm always pleased that Caesar did. Sable, how do you do, clan child? I can only think of one thing. Excited for my bike. Caesar has a, has a throaty quality to her voice, and it rumbles through her mask when she laughs. She's quite a serious person most days, and I'm always torn between pride and alarm when I manage to make her chuckle. Yes, Shelly told me how excited you were. Caesar sniffs. She also told me Driss will be coming along to eat all back together, but I think he may have... I knew it. What? I haven't said that out loud, so I thought I was just clearing my throat. I don't regret Driss for his forgetfulness. Were I tossed with so many odds and ends, I might just be, I might be just as scattered. And besides, this will be good for you. I want you to scavenge the other bike Ask for yourself. I'm gonna make my own hover bike? I asked Caesar if I'm expected to, my, to make my own hover bike. No, you're not going to make your own hover bike. You are going to build your own hover bike. What's the difference? To make suggests you're creating something, but your bike already exists. They simply haven't taken form yet. Here, take this. Caesar hands me something. This is a navigator. You can use it to mark waypoints on your compass. It should be useful when finding the old parts. I asked Caesar where I might start looking. Our bikes are reborn in the ruined ships, in fragments spread apart. A good start would be the ship down there near the camp. You'll find another up on that grey rock, near the other side of the canyon, and another behind the old dam on the hill. Use your navigator to make that to mark that down if you need. You'll need to gather a control panel, a power supply, and a calibrator. Do most gliders make their own bike? Only the lucky ones. I tell Caesar I'll see you soon and help in a search for the components. So the, together we'll create something new out of the old. Cool. Oh, sh oh wow, okay. Wow, okay. So there is some sense of direction that's given to you, which I, I guess, I, I guess is probably a good thing. To some extent. Wow, that's pretty cool, dude. Okay, right. Uh, okay. What is your gliding like? Tell you what, I'll tell you when you get back. Tell all you want, I don't want to spoil any surprises. She hears her voice, her whisper. I did meet some crystal farmers once. Crystal farmers? And that's all I say about that. You should get going. Okay, cool. Where's my hover bike? Okay, I guess we can do this, and then me maybe, maybe stop. 
I don't know how long this demo is. I really don't. Uh, I might continue playing. Yeah, I'll probably continue playing, I guess, after this if there is more. Yeah, this is nice. It's very relaxing. Uh, kinda, I, I really like that. Okay, so. Our first objective is over there. He, he, he suggested to look into the, the old ship here. Which we actually we actually have looked in here before, but uh, there's probably something we we didn't see, or that we didn't know we could get. Control panel. Huh. Maybe on top? Yeah, maybe on top of the ship, actually. Oh god, oh. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit, okay. Oh, we have an atomic calibrator. Okay, cool. So we're either, so here we're either looking for a, uh, a power supply or a control panel. Maybe this here? No, okay, okay. I think we will probably see it, right? And you can really climb anything here. Okay. Um, let's see, maybe I need to push this again. No, okay, yeah. Huh. Power su I guess the power supply wouldn't be in here, though, would it? I don't know. Let's have a look around here. I don't see anything. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's something over there. Okay. Oh, that's where we found the... The... The chart egg? The chum? I can't remember what it's called now. Maybe it, maybe it's uh, sort of a, on top of the ship, I don't know. Ah, wait, hold on. Oh wait, can I not climb that? Oh god. Yeah, camera's really fucking janky sometimes. I'm not gonna lie. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm having a bit of trouble navigating this thing. Like, it's just... Oh, God. Okay. I can't climb that. Okay. Um... Wait, I can't climb this either. Hmm. Okay. Odd. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, I can't... I, oh, God, I can't see. Fuck. Okay, 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 okay. Just calm down here a bit. Uh, okay. Oh, Jesus. I forgot that did that. Fuck. I don't know where to... 
Yeah, I don't know where we could find this. Maybe here? I don't know. It doesn't look like there's anything I can interact with, so let's 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 give it a break for now. I don't know if maybe it's like it's somewhere around or I mean I feel like the power supply would be still inside the ship. Maybe damaged, okay, but Okay, okay. Yeah, I don't see anything else here. Right, and then... Oh, wait, I just realized. Oh! Okay, I just realized. So... I just realized that that's where the atomic calibrator was. Okay, I'm silly. I'm really silly. Okay, silly me. Um, okay, okay. Right. <laughs> okay, that's my bad. I hadn't, I hadn't understood. Yeah, okay. Cause yeah, cause, cause um, the little girl took it from there. Stelaria. I can't remember what her, what her name is now. What what was her name actually? Sima. Okay. Yeah, Sima took the calibrator from it. Okay, I just realized. Okay. Right. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That that explains a lot. That explains a lot. All right, let's go, um, let's go get this now, so, so we can probably, yeah, we can probably make this jump now. Thanks to, thanks to gliding. Oh, wait, okay, hold on. Okay, there we go. So we, we've done this before, but you know. Alright, there we go. Up here. And then up here. I wonder if we ever get to um, increase our stamina, maybe. I don't know if that's how this, this game works, like with upgrades and stuff like that. I'm guessing we could probably like modify and possibly upgrade our bike, because there's a there's a bike part section in the in the menu, so you would. Uh, I'm assuming. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just I'm just speculating. Check this out, dude. Ah, atomic power supply. Nice. And and they said there was one in the dam as well. Okay, cool. So the last one, yeah, the last one is the dam, I guess. Which is over here. Now we've been over there. It's quite it's quite an empty world though. I don't I I don't I'm not sure I mean that in a bad way. Like empty worlds can be can be good. Uh, it's quite a like it's pretty yeah, it's quiet, it's empty, it's serene. Um but it's not like at least it has things to do, right? But I, I I'm very curious to see how it's gonna all like develop. Uh, further into the game, and what what we get to do. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely curious to, to um find out more about that. Okay, so let's let's head over for the dam then. I think. Oh, come on. Okay, what's over here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right, okay. Oh, 
And we don't know if, um... So we, okay, so we can't use our bike here. So we're going to have to walk it. Oh, can I make that? Yeah, okay, we're fine. Okay, so oh, oh that wasn't there before. Okay, I wonder I wonder why that wasn't there before. Okay. That's weird that, that wasn't there before. I feel like I mean obviously obviously now it's here for narrative reasons, right? For, for because we've got a quest that, that enables us to go in here, but I feel like Yeah, I feel like like uh <laughs> if this just popped into existence here, it should have been here the whole time. But maybe they should have hidden it a bit, a bit better. Because I mean, in a way, it doesn't really. Is this it? Ah, nice. In a way, it doesn't really make sense that that, that this thing is sort of a uh, just popped into existence here, just because we have a quest, right? I, I get it. Like a lot of games do that. But yeah, I feel like maybe they should have like they could have hidden it somewhere. Above the dam, or I don't know, something like that. So I'm wondering what's so there's like there's like a whole different section up here. Oh right, okay. So these are the different regions. So this this is actually a pretty massive world. Wow. Okay. Shit. Okay. Perfect. So we got all the parts, and we can now go talk to Cizo. Okay, right. Let's let's try not to crash that bike though. All right, I'm not sure we can crash the bike or damage it. I don't I don't know if that's like a thing in this game. All right, okay. Let's make our way back. Ibex camp. I'm sorry, bike. Oh god, what is she doing? Okay, Jesus. Sort of floating midair. Uh, okay, so up the tower here. Okay, cool. Alright, let's go see what happens now. Oh, I'm stuck underneath the wall. Okay. I return to Caesar with the parts, and it's as she waves it's as she waves me over that I feel a pang of sand in my in my chest. When will I see her again once I'm gone? Well done, Sable. Yes, this is everything we need. Are you ready to assemble the back of your own? I I'm ready. Then let's head to the workshop. Oh, wow. Caesar relaxes in the workshop. It isn't that she's particularly rigid or anxious ordinarily, but there's a certain calm beauty that one only truly appreciates when Caesar is in her element. I wonder if, this is, I wonder if it's this way for all mach machinists. What you must understand, Sable, is that the components you acquired, they fit together. Not by chance, not by effort, but by nature. They belong to her. They have always belonged to her. All we are doing is assembling her for what she has already seen. Or been, sorry. I nod and feel the stuff buzzing in my ears. Among my clan, we believe that machines have names, held for ages like deep secrets, unheard by those unequipped to listen. We will find this one's name together. Wow.
spike wings. Wait, did I put the thing in here? Ah, okay, here we go. All right, so this seems, uh, uh, this, this seems pretty, uh, pretty linear. Okay. And now this. Lighting bike booster. Okay. These are relaxed in the workshop. It isn't... Oh. Uh, oh. Oh, yeah, okay. She... Here we go, okay. Oh, is that it? Oh, did we finish it? Cool. Listen. These are tilts I had a moment, leaning closer to... Simoon. All at once, I know the Hoverback's name. Simoon. It's set in a whisper to let Cizo know. Simoon. Simoon. Well done, Sable. What does it mean? What does it mean? You should ask it yourself. Cizo looks entirely serious. The bite to my enduring surprise says nothing, even when I lean close. I tell Simon that I am eager to know her better, and Caesar looks quite proudly at the both of us. You are ready then for the gliding. May all the gods turn their faces from you, Sable. I know bless you perhaps, that, but Caesar is prone to such things, and I can read in her tone that it was made quite sweetly. You must learn to listen to Simoon, to care for her. Seek out my fellow machinists on your travel, Sable. They will teach you the art of machine whispering. Oh, now here, take this. It's machinist badge. You'll meet plenty of my oak on your gliding. Show them your worth, and they'll give you more badges. I think it's, I think Caesar twice for good measure and give a bow. I'm ready. Nice. And this is a uh, Japanese breakfast singing the song, which was amazing at the the Summer Games Fest. She's got such a nice voice. Okay. Wow. Okay. Well, this was interesting. This was really interesting. Um. So. Verdict. I don't know. Oh, whoops. That pulls up the Steam page. Um. Verdict. Seems really interesting. I well, art style, like I'm completely on board for the art style. It's gorgeous, absolutely love it. Um, music, I didn't hear too much of it, but like it's, it sounds like, it sounds like it's very ambient stuff, and I'm absolutely down for that. Uh, it seems to fit the the mood and the vibe very well. Uh, I do like that that there's no, I, I like that this is very centered on exploration. You know, there's no quest markers, or you put your own quest markers anyway, and it's really just like be curious and explore the world and stuff like that. I hope that will hold up and I think uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to what else there is to do um, in the game other than, you know, uh, like, uh, yeah, I hope there's something interesting that drives the player to, to sort of continue exploring other than just wanting to clear out the map and see everything there is to see. Um, so I, I hope that makes sense. Like, I hope that there is there is another like drive to explore this world other than just roaming around it like i hope there's stuff to do uh really interesting stuff to see learn and discover um uh, maybe some characters to meet i'm not sure if this is like uh sort of focused on characters i mean obviously this seems to be focused quite on sable since it's supposed to be i don't know if it's maybe supposed to be like a sort of coming of age uh, it's a rite of passage so yeah um yeah, so it, yeah, okay, so it's it's a right passage, so it, it looks like it's going to be focused on 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 her character. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, I like that. I, I thought that was really cool. So definitely looking forward to the release of the game. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this demo of Sable. 
I was, uh, I'm really happy to have actually tried out this game. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this demo. And, uh, I will be seeing you guys next time.